Hello, my name is Stefan Rank. I am business development manager for RZ and PUs at Renaissance Electronics, which has been the leading vendor of microcontrollers for the industrial and automotive markets for a long time. Today, I would like to talk to you about the coolest new feature available on our new RZA2M embedded MPU, the DRP or the Dynamic Reconfigurable Processor. Now, what is the DRP? The DRP combines software reprogrammability with hardware speed. The DRP has dynamically reconfigurable processor cores that are programmable in C language and are directly connected to the external I.O. ports so that the ports can be controlled as desired. What can you do with the DRP? The DRP is great for image processing and pre-processing because it allows parallel execution by multiple tiles, similar to what happens in a GPU. And as the DRP is programmable hardware, the execution is extremely fast and can be 10 times faster than software running on the CPU. DRP can be reloaded to new functions every cycle and has very low power consumption. In addition, it offloads the CPU. Let's say you are working on a video-based surveillance system, then you may want to integrate moving object tracking functionality. For this, you want to implement edge detection, feature extraction, and feature matching. And good examples for edge detection are Kenny and Sobel filters or operators. Because the DRP in RZA2M has six tiles, you can multiply execution performance and image processing applications. And because you can reload in less than a millisecond, you can reconfigure the same DRP hardware to run the next function. So if we take the example of a Kenny edge detection, you will get your result 10 times faster compared to the software running on the CPU. Let's look at real life examples. We have a video stream of an incoming train and we run a Sobel filter in software. The software running on the CPU can only manage 1.3 frames per second. So the performance does not meet our expectation at all. If we run the Sobel filter on the DRP, we achieve 160 frames per second and now we are very happy about the result. If we come back to the Kenny edge detection in a real example, we can see that the CPU does not provide stable performance and the edge detection lags behind. So running on the DRP, Kenny is 10 times faster, which is also a result of no interrupts and the use of designated DMAs. And if we look at a list of OpenCV API functions running on the DRP, they can run up to 95 times faster on the DRP compared to software running on the CPU. At the same time, the DRP consumes only roughly 5% of the energy the CPU would require for the same job, which makes the DRP very usable for battery-based applications as well. But how will the DRP do what I want it to do? It all starts with C code. The next step is automatic synthesis from C language to hardwired logic subsequently automatic mapping from logic to DRP configuration. And finally, we get a dynamically reconfigurable data path. So if you like the DRP, please order your Renesas RZA2M evaluation platform and benefit from hardware performance with software flexibility and programmability. So thanks for watching and keep ahead of the pack.